Welcome back, my name is ESO, and today we are going to explore the story behind a dungeon. So this is where we are on the map, the abandoned prison. It's just down this river here, which is uh, quite close to Whiterun, and near um, Windtown as well. Let's take a look at this place. And the interesting thing about this place, and is the reason I'm highlighting it, is because there are no quests tied to this location. But yeah, it's actually a really interesting location. So I really want to show it to you guys. We've got a bridge over there and seem to be some people crossing it. wonder what they're doing. Then uh, there's a waterfall on the left here. So let's um, cross over this river. And I just want to show you something on the top because I've seen quite a few people do uh, Let's Plays of this location but they always miss it. There's actually a secret treasure chest up here. Don't know if the loot's any good, but um, I'll check it out. Oh, of course it has a lock on it. I'm so bad at locking. Oh, one sec, almost. Nope. Of course I didn't get it in one. Don't be silly. Ebony boots. Ebony bow. And an enchanted weapon. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. Probably the best uh, chest of lockpicks in ages. And if you're wondering what that tree is over there, which has fallen on that poor man's house, who's actually been squashed. Um, there's a treasure map over there, and I'll put a link to it in the description, because I've got uh, all the treasure map locations. Because they're really fun to find. So let's go inside and see what we find. So we're inside now, and all I can hear is water, which is probably the river outside. Or maybe there's a leak. Yeah, there's a, the river is coming into the building. And that staircase doesn't go anywhere. It goes to the collapse bit we uh, climbed on top of earlier. Got some light coming in from there. So let's jump down. See if there's anything in this chest. Some poison, some health potion. There's another health potion here. Uh, there's a chest on top of this cabinet. Let's have a look in here. Uh, well, that's not as good as the one outside. It's not bad though. We've got a soul gem in there. All right, so let's work our way down. And see what we find. So I'm guessing this is like the guard section of the prison. Oh, there's a note here. Guards' orders. We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them drown. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. The storm is about to wash the whole fort into the river, and I'll be damned if I have to report one legion death while under my watch. You have your orders. Well, it looks like all the prisoners in here were either left to drown, or maybe they escaped or got out on their own. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Fortify carry weight. That might be useful if, I, if there's a lot of treasure in here. So let's go down here and take a look at what we find. Got some more health potions, iron ingots. Is there anything free? Oh my god, is that a ghost? There is a ghost there. So I'm guessing the prisoners didn't get out, they probably drowned in here alive. Hasn't noticed me. So, um, what have we got in here? This is the dungeon. Oh, there's a ghost over there. Does he see me? Oh my god, they're attacking. Where's the other one going? Only a fool can kill the dead. Well, that didn't work out very well for you. Does he have anything on his body? If you're wondering where to get that firewall stuff, by the way, I'll put a link to my other video. Which is, you can actually get an unmarked location, so, um... There's another note here. The storm is coming, I can tell. The water's leaking in and it has become stronger. There's no better time than now. When the storm hits, the guards will be scrambling to figure out what to do with us. Amidst the confusion, we need to overpower the few that will be standing guard outside our cells and hold off the cells to block the entrance. We need only hold off a few until I can get their swords and break open the drainage gate in the corner of my cell. So it looks like there was a way out for them. 
That's where we'll make our escape. Everyone will move down the river and we'll try and find shelter until the storm passes. So I wonder. Said he was going to steal the guy's sword, but there seems to be an Imperial soldier here. And he still has his sword, so maybe he didn't get the sword. I guess we'll find out if they got out. I'm quite interested to find out where this, um, this sewer grate is, though. He said it was in the... Yeah, here we go, in the corner. That's pretty cool. You can actually open and close this trap door. I'm not going to jump down there uh, yet. I'm going to look around first. I'll go back there. And we'll see if there is a way out. Uh, abandoned prison key. That's going to make life a lot easier, considering I'm crap with lockpicks. Okay. Got another chest. Just some potions and a circlet. Not very great. Nothing around here. Oh. No one hides from the dead. You're the one who should be hiding, bro. If you're wondering why this ghost is flashing, uh, that was terrible. If you're wondering why it's flashing every time him, it's because I've got this unique light, ench light enchantment on my weapon. Which basically does light damage. I think it's 30 points. It's quite powerful. And you can actually get that for yourself. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's at this forge called the Lunar Forge. Which has a quite a lot a lot of interesting lore behind it. It's to do with um, Tamriel and having two moons. And when they line up, if you craft a weapon there, you get the Lunar Forge in charm. Got some more gold. And there's another chest. Oh, glass gauntlets. That's good. Anything good in here? Lots of books. If you're into that. Um, Two-handed skill book. Master chest. Oh, still plate of major health. I can disenchant that, so that might be useful. A black soldier. And there's actually a book here called The Legend of Red Eagle. And when you read it, you get a quest. And that quest is actually really good, so I might do a um, Let's Play video of that quest. And make sure you read the book as well, because understanding why you're going on a quest is makes it so much more interesting and enjoyable. So let's go down that sewer grate and see what we find. See if the prisoners did make it out of this dungeon. We'll have to open it again. I really like things like this. Like little secret entrances. So there's one skeleton, so it's not looking good for the prisoners, guys. Let's see, where are we going? It's quite a long way down there, there's another skeleton. Um, there's a satchel, so anything, nope, nothing interesting in there, and that seems to be the way out. Wonder where it leads. So, I'm, where am I? Am I in a sewer? No, I'm, where am I? Okay, I'm under the bridge. It comes out under the bridge. And this may, this place must have been completely underwater when they were trying to escape. Because there seems to be loads of skeletons here. With nothing... Oh look, he got the Imperial Sword. He didn't get very far with it. I wonder if we continue down the river, if we'll find the um, refuge they were talking about in the note. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more location stories like this one in Skyrim, just let me know in the comments and subscribe to keep up to date.